up, y'all? It's your girl ZZ back with another mother loving vid. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notifications bell, get us join a thumbs up, share this mug, all that, all that, all that. You feel me? So today's video is going to be a another reaction, but I'm reacting to a compilation of videos similar to what I did in my Black Women Are Egregiously Out of Order video. This will actually be, it's kind of like a spin-off from that because this is going to be more specific with Black Mothers egregiously out of order. So I figured I'd, I'd come over here and, and spread some light to the diamonds because egregious, we're going to get into it. <laughs> now, first up, this video, I'm not going to play the sound to because it is like, it's going to be copyrighted. It's some song from off TikTok, so I'm not about to, you know, we, we just going to watch and, 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 you know, pay attention. <laughs> you don't need to sound no way. It's a challenge. This is a little TikTok dance. You're supposed to do a little thing and he's supposed to shake your butt to the beat, okay? That's her son, okay? That is right there while she's doing this challenge, okay? Let's move on to the next one, just because these two videos are real short and straight to the point. Oh, hold up, I can play the sound on this I one. I got a new dress from a boutique, and it's giving. It's really, really cute. I just, it shows a side boob. I didn't know how I was gonna You need on a bra. And you got on too much deodorant. Okay, because I don't want to beat your ass on camera. <laughs> so, okay, I got a new dress from a boutique. Okay, so... This first video, all right. Like I said, this was a little. This is a little TikTok challenge uh, dance. All right. Shout out to the honest room. He actually posted this and put all this in the post, which made this a lot more convenient for me. But even the thing he has screenshot right here is why do women love sexualizing themselves in front of children? Now that is a problem. That's my main problem with both of these videos. Is one okay? The little challenge from off TikTok, whatever. Okay, you want to do a little challenge from off TikTok? Even though I'm, I don't think you as a mother should be up there shaking your ass on camera for the camera. Whatever, teach your own. You want to do that? Okay. But you should not be doing that in front of your child, especially not in front of your son. Like, yeah, it's kind of funny. He runs into the camera, you know, like he's trying to protect his mother, which is cool. But this is also how you kind of generate the relationship of the, the son husband. Because he's doing things that her man should be doing. Your man should be stopping you from shaking your ass in front of the camera. He, you really should, he really shouldn't even have to stop you. You should know. But I've also seen cute little videos where, like, girls fake like they about to do the challenge just so their man can stop them. Point is, that's something their man, the father of their child, does. Not the actual son, not the child. But this is just flat out inappropriate, you know. And what Jess has on in her video, you know, is a little. Look, what she got on is, I think, it's a little inappropriate too. I mean, it's, she covered up, but it's tight as hell. I mean, everything is jiggling, girl. You know, I'm just saying. Jess's video as well, though, what she has on clearly is very revealing. Her adornments are out, got side boob out, got the hips out, legs out. And if she was going to the club or to a bar or with her friends, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, I really wouldn't have nothing to say. You, a woman, you do what you want to do. Even though I think, especially black women, we need to be dressing more moderately, more modestly and more conservative. You know, a lot of us is caught up in this whole realm of Instagram Bodycon dresses, okay, and bodycon clothes in general, two pieces, whatever the case may be, that we forget, you know, like in real life, your whole body is out, okay? Like, you know, when you actually go out, niggas are staring at you, and he, you know, we one of the first ones to be like, Who you staring at? Oh, don't touch me, don't you know, when it's like, girl, you got everything just hanging out on display. But again, to each their own. Even if you're not going to dress like that, again, it's just keep that away from your children. Why did you have to do this little you know, try on whole thing video in front of your son. And it's crazy because a lot of us are the same ones who will sit up here and talk about how black men don't have no sexual discipline. They just want to sleep with anything. Da -da 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 -da. But it's like, look at how you raise your sons. Look at who that, look at how their mothers interact with them. They're used to seeing their mothers sexualize themselves just casually in front of them all the time, or sometimes, whatever the case may be you're going to grow up with the result like with a man who's expecting that from his woman who's like okay with that i don't think this is as bad as the jada's as jada's video because i mean he she, at least she's not shaking her butt in a camera where her son can see it but it's also like even you know both is still it's kind of uncomfortable it's like why would you like i wouldn't i got nieces and nephews and there's certain things i'm just not going to wear around them because they're little children. Like, y'all don't need to see me wearing this. Y'all not gonna see what I wear to the club. And that's not just little boys. That's little girls included, you know, because little girls are going to mimic you. So if these were two little girls, it would still be bad, if not a little bit worse, because now you got two little girls who's looking up to that like, oh, I can't wait to dress like that. Oh, I can't wait to shake my butt and be able to shake my butt in front of the camera. Like, this is cute. It's not. This is, uh, I think, a, a woman in the mall, uh, employee in the mall is recording 
this couple because she claims that the father she's seen the father hit one of the children i guess too hard or something like that it borderline abusive i don't know but she starts recording them and then you know this is what happens Man, they they cursing a lot. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. This is like four minutes long. Fast forward just a little bit. First of all, I'm talking to that man. That's my daughter. Is that your daughter? Is that your daughter? Clearly his daughter. I don't look that. Let's, let's go ahead. Y'all are crazy. You're going to jail. You're going not the bonnet. And she got the children in the damn bonnets. Lord Jesus. Come on. What happened to don't let you don't go out the house with looking crazy? Come on. You know your mothers and grandmothers have told you, especially FBA. Stop it. Why the hell are they walking out? Why the hell you got them kids out of the house with them, with them damn bonnets on? What you got going on, lady? And your ass already look a little like you just, I don't know. It's supposed to be your daughter's birthday. Where her little princess tiara? What y'all there to pick up something? Y'all ain't got no bags in your hand. What, is, what you got got on going on? You, you just got on the short and some spandex shorts and some flip-flops. Your, your man got on a, a damn beater, wife beater. Y'all talking about this lady appearance. I don't know what the girl with the lady holding the camera is, but it ain't her child's birthday. All I'm saying, y'all could have came out of the house looking better than that for your child's birthday, at the very least. Y'all shouldn't be coming out of the house looking like that, period. But I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now, number one, I will say I'm not really for CPS being called on black, you know what I'm saying, families and things of that nature. Like, you know, uh, I would much rather for you to be able to keep it in the fam for somebody else to come step in and, you know what I'm saying, to like another family and be able to come and step in and take the children. Although I don't understand in some certain certain situations like this where you don't know them and you think a child is in danger, that might be like your only resort you think you have. But even on the flip side of that, like why the hell would y'all sit there? Like if you know, I don't know if y'all know some of the dangers of black children in foster care or being in the hands of you know, non-family, but just being taken out of the home, like the physical damage and the physical abuse they could go through, mental, psychological, like there's a lot like behind that trying to take somebody's children. Even if the girl was when called, like she don't know y'all. All they got is security field, this little camera they got. They wouldn't, wouldn't even, they wouldn't even have this if y'all wouldn't be arguing with the girl. They might have some mall security footage, but they don't, this woman don't know you from a can of paint. Like why would y'all, I mean, if you know you're not abusing your child, why wouldn't you just be like, look lady, this is my child. She good. You see, she ain't crying. The little girl ain't crying or nothing in the video. Like, she ain't bruised. She ain't crying in the video. I don't know how hard the brother hit her or what he hit her for, whatever the case may be. Maybe he was tripping. Maybe he did hurt her too hard. Whatever the case is. But that is his damn child. So if you know that you're your child and as a parent, you know that you're not doing anything wrong, tell a sister, look, stop recording me. Like, we good. You know what I'm saying? It's my daughter's birthday. We did it. I would appreciate if you don't call nobody. You know what I'm saying? But if she's still threatening to call and all this stuff... Take your ass on home. All right, you got to call. Okay, we good. I'm going to make sure my daughter have a good day, especially because it's her birthday. I'm going to make sure my daughter have a good birthday. We're going to keep it pushing. All right, you, you do what you need to do, but we're going we gonna to keep it pushing. And just leave. Especially as the mother. Like, the mother, you being, yeah, like, this is hella, the mother scene is giving real masculine energy right now. So she was in her feminine, she was just like, hey, come on, let's just go. Like, don't even worry about what she got going on. You know, you good. Especially because the mother is sitting there saying, like, that's his daughter. She's saying, basically, she don't have a problem now. Because she'd be one of these, you know... Uh, women who support abusers and allows her man to, to to do whatever he wants to the children, even when it comes to abuse, it's, you know, that can be unhealthy. That may be toxic if that's what she's doing. But if she just really just trying to support her man because he's in the right, like, girl, do that. You can do that without, you can see him already kirking. You can do that without you kirking as well, especially because your daughters are standing right there watching y'all. How about you set the feminine example of what you should do in a situation like this? If the woman is not trying to 
talk to you about what's going on. Like woman to woman, even if she is recording or not, but have a calm conversation with you and you see that your husband is still quirking, the best thing you can do in that situation is to turn to your man and try to convince him, let's just go. I mean, even if you would have stood there and just been quiet, to be honest, and you would have just stood with him while he was quirking and shit like that until he was ready to go, that would have even been better. But you adding fuel to the fire, trying to quirk on this lady and sort out insulting her and all this other nonsense, what is that doing? What what type of example is that setting for your children? See, but now y'all didn't cause this whole scene. Now your daughters is confused and a little scared because now they got somebody talking about they call a CPS on their on their father. And if the little girl is smart enough or she's heard of CPS before, then now she's getting a little scared because she like, damn, are they gonna take me away from my parents? Now y'all gotta take more time out of this little girl birth out of this little girl birthday from whatever y'all was about to go do. Talk to these damn crackers about what happened because y'all done caused this whole scene and now this lady is talking about she about to call the police on y'all, whatever the hell. Like, you just added on, you just did all this extra stuff for no reason. Yeah, honestly, he doing way too much too. Like, brother, you giving off, this ain't even, you, you, this ain't even giving masculine no more. This is giving him a bit of over-emotional feminine energy if we being real. Because you kirking on this lady like she damn, I mean, like, brother, I get it. You don't want, especially black people, we don't like... <laughs> being told about our parenting okay you tell a black parent about how they could be a better parent or like something they do wrong and yeah, you might end up with this result i've seen it before but brother you going to an extreme right now it's like damn was the lady right like are you really like how like you how why are you trying to convince this whole ass stranger right now like <laughs> in this way you know it's not like the brother just walked up to it like look nah da, 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 da. like you immediately started kirking this is not a good look bro and you assaulting the girl and all types of nonsense like this is in a girl i think she was coming for them as well in a couple of the parts too but it's a lot you know like this that's just a lot going on there was no need for both of y'all to get to that point over one lady recording y'all making this one accusation this is the only person y'all in the whole ass, whole ass mall with other people around and this is the only person talking about she's seen you. And she didn't even record when you hit that little girl. When, she, you, when you actually hit the little girl. She really has no proof outside of hearsay. Outside of what she said. And maybe some small footage if she can get access to. It. And especially again in front of these children. Like we, you, all this vile language is like. When I hear people curse like this. Or like going like this and on people. In front of their children. Like I, like it's like you. Like it, it's too much. That is not a healthy thing to pass on to your children, especially as a woman, especially as a mother. She's sitting up here cursing, I'm gonna let you do going on a lady. Like, you don't have to do all of that, sweetheart. It's not necessary. You probably would have got a lot further had you just tried to talk to her in a polite tone. Oh my gosh. You said what? Did your father tell you to say that? No. What? What? Are you serious right now? They just told that little girl to Y'all. All right, now this now I don't know. He might have really this might really be some. I don't know. I was trying to keep it on the fence whether the brother was really in the wrong. Maybe the lady was being dramatic what she recorded as his daughter. But they really just allowed their daughter to come over there and say, You bum bitch. To a grown ass woman who was really trying to, I mean, if we been, if she was, if our intention was genuine, really just trying to protect the little girl. Like, I would have never, and you know what's crazy? Like, this is some modern, B, this is some modern BS parenting right here. That's what that is, because I've been in situations where my parents have, like, gotten to altercations with people, big arguments, especially with family members, okay? And I have never, like, I've been told to shut the hell up. Go sit down. Go downstairs. You can't listen to grown folks talk like this. You don't need to be in this conversation. I've heard, even if it was started, if even if the, the problem started with the child, as soon as the adults start getting into it, the children, you shut up. The children are not allowed to step up into the conversation. Ain't no... You don't get permissions to go over there and call your aunts or call your aunt a name or go call some lady. Some, like Your mother and father have to be hella distracted in order for you to be able to even have a, a, a room to get a word in. Then she say, no, I, I, they didn't tell me this. She had a little attitude. No, they didn't tell me. I just said it. What the hell? Are, like, this is, no. That's ratchet family, ratchet family central. And they didn't chastise her for it. So, so let's say that they didn't tell her to do it. 
They damn sure didn't chastise her for it. She's not getting sure He about to hit her for saying that. Now they got this little girl walking around thinking that shit is cute. They got her walking around thinking that that's okay for you to talk to an adult like that. This is just, this is not even, it's not even safe to be teaching a child something like that. What if she was the type to be like, what if she would have hit her upside the head because she spoke to her like that? Then what? Even with the police right there and y'all standing right there, even if you would have got her back, your child is still traumatized from getting hit for saying something that you told her to say. That is so irresponsible. For you to allow your child to do retaliate in that nature. Like, you, she shouldn't be retaliating at all. She should know if my parents are here, they got it. All right, now, this one is a woman and I believe her husband, boyfriend, baby father, I don't know, and her son, they're at a baseball game, I believe, Um, and she gets into it with some guy sitting behind her. I don't really know why, but, you know, let's get into it and see what happens. Where did I shut the fuck up? Hey, what, what are you fucking? Hey, hey, hey. What is up? You fucking. What is up? I'm not doing anything. Don't go anywhere. Hey, let's come over here. Now, I already see a problem with this because the husband is sitting right beside him. He's like, chill. Da, da. He's trying to get the wife to face forward. You need to be listening to your damn your man. You need to be listening to your man, especially because your child is right there. Why are you still arguing with this man and your man isn't? Why are you still talking to this man and your man isn't? I don't care what happened. And look at this. Look at look at the brother face right here. Look at this. Look at this. She like, bro. Come on now. I had, I thought it was cool. I, I had it under control. And you turn around, you get a drink and, and turn around and throw it in this man's face. You are tripping. Your man is sitting right there and you still feel the need. And this is why brothers be saying, when sisters complain about, oh, brothers, y'all can't leave. Black men ain't qualified to leave. Y'all ain't qualified to da 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 You protect, hashtag protect black women. This is why brothers don't take y'all seriously. Because when they are there, and prepare to lead, prepare to defend you, you don't allow it. That's the issue. It's because you're not allowing your men to lead. You're not allowing your men to protect you because you're so wrapped up in your own masculine ego that you feel like you can do it yourself. Well, he's not doing it the way he need to do it. So let me show him. Let me throw this water in this man's face because he. I feel disrespected. So let me let me try to disrespect him as much as I feel disrespected. Even though my man is right here, he can defend me perfectly fine. My man is telling me to turn around and chill out. My man just looked at me like I was fucking crazy. He's, oh, Lord. He not ready to buck up and fight this man because he knows you're wrong. But now he knows that this man tried to hit you. Now you done put him in a spot where he don't really have a choice. Y'all can't see the child. The son is sitting on the right. I don't think you, you might not be able to see it until later on in the video if I get that far. There it goes again, your son. You setting an influence for the child and your family of how a woman is supposed to act, how a woman is supposed to follow her man. And if you sit up here while his daddy is saying, chill out, sit down, you know what I'm saying, turn this way, let's just, let's just chill, let's just drop it, da, 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 da. and you're sitting up here still being combative, still arguing with dude, and then got the nerve to turn around and throw a drink on this grown-ass man, but your man is sitting right there, the father, his father is sitting right there who's supposed to have the authority, and you're not even listening to him, especially while y'all out in a public place, what is that teaching your son? What type of woman do you think he's going to go after? Do you think he can go after the soft, feminine, well, soft-spoken, non-aggressive, very passive, sweetheart, you know, a young woman? Or is he going to go after the masculine, I do what the fuck I want, I'm an independent woman, I, you know, I don't need no man? Is she, is, he, is he more prone to go after that woman? And then you'll be the same mother-in-law who beefing with the wife because you don't like how she, because she a reflection of you. Look at And now you, and now they on dude. And look again, <laughs> he's a white man, so I ain't rocking with it. But he also, he's a man, bro. Like, how are we gonna sit? How y'all gonna sit here now? Y'all saying, don't touch her, bro. She's a woman. Yeah, she knew she was a woman five seconds ago when she threw the in my face. 
Now I'm about to get up and slap her like this. She want to step up like a man and throw something in my face. Now when I get up like a man, the, what she wanted out of me was get up and, and, and come at her like a man because that's what she was doing. So that's what she wanted. Now I'm giving her what she wanted. Oh, no, you can't touch her, bro. She's a woman. Now you got them all riled up. And now you now you want to be protected by the men. Now you want the men to step in and, and get at the brother, uh, get at the, the, the dude because he's, he's getting, you done got them all riled up. When five minutes ago when he was just sitting down, Talking like y'all was just going back and forth, and you didn't even let him have it. Then I didn't. I'm, my bad. I skipped over that. Even besides the fact that your man is there with you, you're still arguing with a man. You don't argue with men. Men, you ain't supposed to argue with women, but you damn sure ain't supposed to argue with no man. You shut your ass up. You know that this cannot go any further. You know that you cannot. Your the the likelihood of you beating this man is very low. Let's just be real. And if you with your child, that's even more reason. Okay, let me shut up. Honestly, she probably would have. She probably wouldn't have turned around and throw no, throw no drink at him. At the, she might have still argued with him, you know. Maybe, even if a man was there. But she damn sure wouldn't have turned around and throw no drink on that man if, if, if it was a two men standing right beside her. Sitting right beside her that she knew was going to stop him from doing that. She knew that brother holding the camera was going to tell him not to do it. She knew her, her boyfriend was going to stand up and say, oh, no, you can't hit her. That's why she said, oh, let me, it's like, uh. You want that, they do that thing again, where you want the privilege of women, but you want the freedom of a man. You can't do, you can't have both. You can't have the freedom to, to just throw something in a man's face without the consequences of it. You can't have the privilege of having men protect you when convenient if you're not going to allow them to protect and lead you in reality at all times. Hey, just hold up. Let me see how this ends. Relax. Relax, bro. Oh, they had a football game. I just feel like they had a Philly jersey. They had a football game. And look now, see, look, now you done ruined it for everybody. Because now, not only him, but you got people in the back screaming, y'all need to leave. Y'all was about to sit there. Y'all would have got over the little stupid little argument y'all had. Y'all would have been able to sit there, enjoy the rest of the game. Your man would have enjoyed the rest of the game. Your son would have enjoyed the rest of the game. And now you just ruined it for every damn body. Because now all of y'all got to go. Because you threw a drink in this man's face. And now he's upset. Stop, what are you doing? It's a female, yo. It's a female. Chill out, yo. It's a female. I know it's a female, but it ain't gonna be physical. I know. I know. I know. We good. Right. We good. We good. Ruin the damn day for everybody. Everybody gotta go. Can't nobody finish the game because you wanted to lead yourself. You wanted to protect yourself. You felt like they were the men around you wasn't doing it right. Stop raising bridges and everything in between. Like, seriously. But y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comments below. Have you seen these clips before? Have you seen any other egregious clips of black women? Have you experienced anything similar to any of these videos in real life with some of the black women you know? Uh, or the black mothers you know? But uh, let me know what your thoughts in the comments. Other than that, baby, that's all I got. All right, y'all. We do not play by our green. You fuck with the team. Might find your west in the creek. We're crossing our teams. We don't never miss a beat.